Hey guys, if you just watched my flying with a dog video, you were probably sent here. So I'm going to be showing you guys what are great things to fly with when you are flying with your dog. The first thing is treats. So you want to have treats that are going to make them want to obey. It's very important that they like the treats. Um, I had a bag and then I put like three different kinds of treats. Um, I put her regular dog food in the bag. So some were like, you know, mediocre snacks. And then some were flavored um, like blueberry and pumpkin. And then I had, she's so excited. She can smell it in here right now. She's literally staring at me. And then I also put a whimsy in here, which are like some like harder dental, things um, and so whenever someone would want to pet her I would get my whimsy out and put it in her mouth and hold it so she could gnaw on it and someone could pet her or or you know she was just laying on the ground or something but I wanted her to stay focused if someone was going to approach her so the treats are very important I would reward her with them for being obedient and then um, just tell her she was being a good girl so very important number two is an emotional support vest. So Penelope is an emotional support animal and um, because she is a bulldog, they're fairly rare and people kind of flip out when they see her. So I did have, I think, a few people just go up and pet her without asking, which, you know, I would prefer them to ask me just because she can get riled up from that. So I wanted to keep her kind of on the down low and whenever you have one of these, people respect your animal so much more. They're, you know, they'll look and uh, you have just so much more less interest in people actually coming up and being like, oh, you know, how like people come up to your dog and then your dog goes crazy. So um, that helps a lot. She doesn't really like it because she hates being stuff like having stuff on her body, but you know, it, it was about 20 bucks on Amazon. It was super helpful. My obedience um, dog teacher recommended that to me just because people, and he just ran away from it. Um, just because people, like I said, just kind of like look instead of like go up and attack. So um, a lot of people did ask like, oh, can I pet her? And then I would have, you know, the control to decide, yeah, I, you can or no, you can't and then have time to get that treat out so she stayed calm. The third thing is pet pads. So I borrowed a few from my aunt and I just wanted to make sure I had these as an option. Like I said in the other video, I did try to use this in the bathroom because Penelope would not go in the pet station. She didn't end up using them, but I was glad I had them because I, I could try that option. I also wanted to try, if she was acting really strange on the plane, I wanted to have them underneath where she was just in case something happened. Um, or I thought about taking her to the bathroom, but there was really no room for both of us. So um, if she started acting weird, I, I could have set these down, but I didn't, I didn't really feel like I had to just because she slept the whole time. Another thing that I took was a blanket. Penelope loves blankets. She loves to be comfortable and snuggled and she's currently like wrapping up in a towel right now. So I took a blanket for her if she started to like get antsy so she could snuggle up in that and she did end up using it and she really liked it. I think she found it like comforting to her. I made sure to really wash it and make it smell good because I mean having a dog on a plane it can have odors and so I wanted to eliminate as much as possible. Um, the dogs just do kind of like smell and so I made sure to keep her wrinkles clean and just make sure she was groomed before we left. So the blanket was clean and she was clean. Another valuable thing is a lint roller. So I told myself, I'm not gonna wear black because I'm gonna see her hair all over me. Well, I wore black and so I took this with me and I'm glad I did. It just helps with keeping you clean, keeping like the seat clean, the floor clean if you need to like pick up any hair. Um, but I'm really glad I had that. 
The next thing is a water bottle. So I picked this up at PetSmart, I think. Um, I was looking for the collapsible water bowls, but this actually I like so much better. I think it was about like $7. So whenever I got into the um, terminal, I filled up the water bottle just like halfway. And so I'd squeeze it out. You squeeze it and then water comes out and then she could drink if she wanted a drink. So on the long flight, I did let her have a few drinks. Um, I did not feed her as we flew. Um, I fed her at 4 a.m. and then I didn't feed her until we landed. So she just had her snacks and then she had the water. Another tip is to get a cup of ice before you get onto the plane if your dog will eat ice. So that was a little bit easier to like if I wanted to give her just a little cube of ice then she could eat that and then she got some water. Two really great options and um, I just found comfort in having some sort of water for her in case she started panting or like overheating or something like that. The next thing which I already talked about in the other video but these um, Comfort Calm pills. Um, it is a natural pill that is um, good for calming dogs. The nurse that I talked to, she said that she gives them to her dog before like fireworks are going off on 4th of July. And so it just calms the dog a lot more. It doesn't really affect them. She wasn't groggy or like sluggish or couldn't walk. She just was tired. So um, if she had the chance, you know, she would lay down instead of like pant and look around at people, you know? So it just kind of took off that edge of like, wow there's a million people around me so i'm just gonna like be calm so that was really what i needed i loved it um i felt really good i tested it before we flew just to make sure i didn't make her have like diarrhea or anything like that and it didn't so i'm glad that i had those the next thing is these little wipey pads they are a wipey and they're um, specifically for dogs so I buy these to wipe her nose and I will run it over her body sometimes like if she like rolled around in dirt or something like that and it just cleans so I wanted to make sure to have a few of these on hand um, in case she got into something or stepped on something you know anything so um, I would make sure to have some sort of wipies for your dog. So I believe that was all that I flew with, but all of these things I would definitely recommend. Um, I wanted to overthink and just make sure that I had everything in case something was going to happen because it was my first time flying with her. So if you guys have tips of other things that are great to fly with, let me know and I would love to have more ideas whenever I fly with her next time. And that is it. So I hope you guys learned what to pack when you're traveling with your dog.